The one thing that narcissists will always do in your absence. A warm greeting to all of you who have stopped by from me. My channel wouldn't exist if it weren't for you. Thank you very much. I also want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel and set the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the new videos posted on this channel. Let's get this started. Why do narcissists deceive and defraud others? Narcissists prefer maintaining secrets because it offers them power and control over their environment. However, talking about secrets, there is one that stands out among other secrets because it has a direct impact on all parties involved. One thing is clear, narcissistic supplies are a necessity for them, and this is always the reason. So, there's one thing that makes them even more enthused, and they would be very excited to try at least once, twice, or only God knows how many times. What is that, though? Well, you might have guessed it right. By being dishonest or committing infidelity, narcissists have the best-kept secrets in the dating world. Especially if they're never discovered, this is what gives them a false sense of power. Before we get into the specifics, here are a few reasons why narcissists cheat on their partners, even when they have all that they could possibly desire. This is because narcissists get bored if they have nothing to do, even if everything else is perfect. After all, there is no fuel for the fire if there isn't any conflict. It's crucial to know how they act when they're cheating, how they respond when they're caught, and who they're most likely to have an affair with. Keep in mind that not only does having sex outside of a committed relationship considered infidelity, but it also involves emotionally betraying a spouse or a partner. And when it comes to being emotionally or physically unfaithful to their partners, I believe that all narcissists do so at some point. So, let's take a closer look at what's going on here. Firstly, narcissists have no respect for the feelings of those around them, and this is why they cheat. They'll act as if you don't exist once you leave their company. Narcissists find it easy to neglect you, take advantage of you, and then discard you when you no longer bring value. They'll have no problem scamming you as if they were never close to you. Not to mention the fact that narcissists are generally dishonest. So, this comes as no surprise, actually. When it comes to infidelity, the covetous nature of narcissists plays a large role in this. As a result, even if things appear to be going well between you and them, they'll still be looking for a way to gain something extra from others that you can't supply. They think they're entitled to anything they can get their hands on, regardless of how much they already have. Another reason is that they're just plain tired of having a good relationship with you. They can't tune in on calm water, and they can't settle with one emotional state for too long. Essentially, they're conflicted inside. And because there are no longer any obstacles to overcome in your relationship with them, they soon become bored. Seeing the same person repeatedly wears them out. In order to keep themselves occupied while simultaneously increasing their supply bank, narcissists should look for and secure new sources of supply. The narcissist in this regard may surprise you with their choice of a supply. There is often no one better than you that the narcissist has their eyes on at any one time. You may find their affair is no better than you in terms of attributes, outlooks, and even attitudes. You may ask why they would cheat on you with someone like this when they have a better relationship with you. Why is it necessary for them to lower their standards? But it's not about you or their present relationship that matters. It's about the narcissist. Not you or their current relationship. So, no matter what you think, you will not be able to grasp the whole situation. To get to the second reason, narcissists are obsessed with what they don't have. They're so envious that they can't seem to get enough of anything. Even an ex-partner, whom they once possessed, will be treated as though it is still their property. It's for this reason that narcissists frequently engage in extramarital relations with the individuals who were previously married to them. Narcissists will not only betray their current partners in order to get back together with an ex, but they will also not hesitate to abandon them. Narcissistic people will even chase those who are already married or in committed relationships in order to take what is rightfully theirs, or so they think. A narcissist's assertion that they are simply hanging out with the boys or girls is not proof that they are not seeking attention from the opposite sex. Thus, you shouldn't believe them. The motives of a narcissist are always ambiguous. Observe how narcissists alter dramatically when they betray or contemplate cheating on a relationship. 
you'll notice that they may put more effort into their looks or focus more on their physical appearance than they typically would. They'll also try to break up with you in order to have sex with someone else, which is a common occurrence. And then, to recover your trust again, they'll come back at you, stating they're sorry for everything, and that they'll never hurt you again. They do this to ensure that if they're ever found out, there will be a good justification for it. In reality, this was a common occurrence. As a result, they were able to take advantage of an unfaithful situation with ease, knowing full well that they could rationalize their actions. Making the most of a bad circumstance was the goal. That brings me to my third point. The narcissist will likely try to excuse their acts whenever they're confronted. That which they did was not bad, and that which they actually are, are two different things for narcissists. In order for narcissists to rationalize their behaviors, they will attempt to distort or remove a part of the truth. Rather than admitting to infidelity, they term it an entanglement or a situation that only occurred because you were making their life difficult. They made this decision in order to avoid admitting to cheating or having sex with another person. Because they don't want to be recognized as liars and cheats, they get a rate when you do. Rather than confronting us with the consequences of their bad choices, they prefer to deceive us into accepting or tolerating them instead. A common tactic is to blame us. Because they not only cheat but also blame it on you, this is the greatest insult to your self-esteem. They'll accuse you of not showing enough interest in them or showing insufficient concern. Just remember that the narcissist's motivations for cheating on their partner are rarely related to the actual circumstances of their relationship. Combined with their avarice and aversion to boredom, these people are constantly on the lookout for new sources of supply. So, this is never your mistake or inadequacy to put up in the relationship. I'm curious as to what you think about all of this. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. I hope you found this information useful. Please consider subscribing and turning on the bell symbol to ensure you don't miss any future videos that are added to this channel. Thank you for your kind attention.